Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm making one of my childhood favorites, salmon and rice. So I'm going to start with the organic jasmine rice. We have used plain rice back in the days, but I like this rice right here. I use it occasionally. And I had to wash it quite a few times, but it's a very good rice. So I'm not measuring it. I'm probably using about two cups of rice. And I just have my cold water on to rinse it to get as much starch off as I can. But yes, I loved salmon and rice when I was small or either salmon and grits. And every now and then now, I still eat it. It's been a long time since I've eaten it, so I decided to make it and share the recipe with you guys. And I'm just going to be using one can of salmon. All right, so I have my rice rinse. I have my oven uh, turned up. I'm gonna bring it to a boil. Then I'm gonna turn it back down. Just gonna put about a teaspoon of salt in this. I'm using the pink salt. You can use the salt of your choice. You just need a pot of dry rice to go with this. So I'm gonna use this frying pan right here for my salmon. So I added one fourth stick of salted butter and maybe about two tablespoons of olive oil. And I'm using this. I usually use the one in the pink can, but this is one I'm using today. So here are my onions, my seasonings, and I'm gonna crack two eggs in this salmon. So I'm cooking this on medium. I'm just going to let my onions saute maybe about three or four minutes. I don't want them to burn. Some people add bell pepper, but when we was growing up, we had onions. So here's my rice. My rice is almost dried out. So now we're gonna focus on the salmon. All right, so as you can see, I'm getting ready to pour my salmon into the pan. I usually pour it into the bowl and just take that little skin off, but I pulled it in here and I'm gonna get as much off as I can. Some people remove the bones, but I don't take the bones out because the bones are very nutritious and salmon is full of omega-3. Oh, I'm sorry, omega-3s. So I just leave the bone in because the bones will cook up during the cooking process. So as you can see, I'm just going to break it up. All right, I'm going to break it up as much as I can and just maybe leave a little bit of chunks in there. So I added about a cup of water. Now I'm just going to let this cook. It doesn't have to cook that long because the salmon is really already done. So now I'm just adding a little bit of garlic powder. We always add a lot of black pepper to this. And just a little bit of salt. You don't have to add too much because the salmon is already salted. Now I'm going to crack my two eggs in here. Some people don't, but I like to use two eggs and just kind of scramble them. To me, it kind of separates the salmon a little. It might not look pretty, but honey, it is 
very tasty. So I'm going to let my eggs cook up until they are done. Also, I'll leave the recipe down in the description box. And if you like salmon and rice, this right here is like a stewed salmon. I really hope you get to try this recipe. So I have my lid on and I'm just gonna let it cook maybe about seven, or eight minutes until all the flavors marry. You can use this recipe with mackerel as well. All right, so my rice is finished. I am going to put some rice on my plate. And I did share this recipe with my neighbors. They like salmon and rice. So I did share it with two of them. So now over to the salmon. I am putting it on my plate and I tell you guys, this salmon and rice was so good. I even have enough for breakfast in the morning. A can of salmon can go a long way. So here is my salmon and rice. If you like salmon and rice, guys, I really hope that you get to try this recipe. And I want to thank you for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next video.